too hard, way too hard. Go in, go in. Yes! Oh my. Yeah. This was very, very important. Okay, now let's talk about distance control. And how realistic is it actually in this Golf VR simulator? There are like a lot of factors that play a role, such as ball lie, hazards, quality of hit, as well the daily form, right? Sometimes, some days you just don't hit it so well, maybe some days you hit it more powerful or less powerful, and so on and so forth. So we are not robots, like we cannot just exactly tell, um, yeah, like the ball will always go 60 yards, exactly what we want. Even the best PGA pros in the world, they're not gonna hit it within like a one yard radius or so, when they want to hit a 60 yard shot. But what's important in golf is that we kind of get a result that is relatively accurate. So when I plan to make a 60 yard shot, I want to have a result, for me as an amateur golfer, that is maybe between like 55 and 65 yards, right? Or maybe 50 and 70 yards, somewhere there. And it would be completely wrong if I make a 60 yard shot and it goes like 90 yards or 100 yards, right? So then it would be, I feel like kind of fooled. So that's why now we're going to take a look into this, how realistic is it here in this VR golf simulator. And you know probably like from some other videos here on my channel, um, especially the one about the penalties that you have when you are hitting the rough. Of course, you have to put more power into the shots when you're not on the fairway, right? So I can show you this here quickly, the lie. So if we take, let's say, the P-Wedge, you can see it has 100% there, right, where the Callaway Ball uh, 3 there is. 100%. But once we hit the ball into a rough, like here in the two hazard, right? So we're gonna just chip it into there. This is gonna change quickly just to demonstrate this, even though you can see that as well in my uh, video about it, right? So now we have something around like 79 to 87, but let's say 80% lie. So with other words, we have to put in 20% more power in order to get the shot out of that. And this is kind of realistic to real life golf too, right? When you have like a rough lie, and um, sometimes, yeah, it's unpredictable. You have to put a little bit more power to get it out or whatever it is. And if we break it down quite simple for distance control, the more power you put into your shot, the less accurate it's gonna be, right? The more club head, um, like club head speed you have, the less accurate your shot in the end gonna be. So let's take a look into this now, and I'm gonna start off with making just a couple of like 10 yard shots, and we're gonna see how accurate they are, and then we're gonna make some 20 or 30 yard shots, and so on and so forth, and kind of get an idea of how, yeah, like we deal with distance control here in this VR golf simulator. Okay, so first, let's take a sandwich here, and I'm playing this in Pro difficulty. We can open the settings here, right? Gameplay Pro. And you need to keep in mind that in Pro difficulty, as well, um, w like it depends on where you hit it on the club face, right? So if I would hit it perfectly in the center here, right? So I have 100% contact, or at least I hit it in the center, even though my contact might be only 50% in Pro difficulty, um, I'm not gonna have any power penalties. Once I hit it on the toe, right, or two toey, or once I hit it two healy, it will actually take some distance off my shots, and that's as well very realistic compared to real life golf. And um, I'm still gonna demonstrate this now here in the pro difficulty, so some of the shots that I make, right, will not always be coming out exactly where I want them to come out, because maybe I miss hit them, uh, my quality of the hit wasn't great, and so on and so forth. Uh, one quick uh, disclaimer here, um, in the simulator you cannot shank the ball, so when we go down here you can see the shaft actually is not a hitbox, right, so it can move through, so we cannot make like a super toy shot or super heel shot that would then kind of kick off to the left or kick off to the right or whatever it is, right, uh, we cannot top the ball or blade the ball, and probably like in like one or two generations further in VR, uh, these kind of things will um, yeah, will be in the software, will be in the games that are out there, but for the current VR hardware, it would be just a little bit too much, you know, like for, especially for most of the golfers. I myself probably would like a feature like this in order to kind of um, have a better understanding of like the, yeah, like the height that I have to hit the perfect shots, but even I don't trust the VR system that well that it actually can make this like one or two inch difference uh, in terms of the height of the clubs and so on and so forth. Okay guys, I quickly want to put this video here in between about Golf Plus and the physics there. So let's quickly take a look if we can hit the ball healy, if we can hit it toey or not. And you will notice that when I swing the club, let's say here you can see that it's probably like one, two club length below the ball and I make a swing at it, the ball still goes super straight and yeah, the club was here when I hit it, right? So the game has an algorithm that just calculates your swing and just puts it always kind of in the middle. It can, of course, notice 
And this is what all the YouTubers as well say, right? So you can open the club face a little bit and make a swing and it will notice it. So you can see the slice there. Um, and we can as well close it, right? Make a swing at it. And uh, yeah, the ball hooks to the left. So that's very accurate and realistic. Um, and especially for an arcade golfer to have this kind of, yeah, like realism built into it. I think it's amazing. Um, but of course, it's a completely different thing if you want to like hit the ball and have the high, right height and everything. Um, yeah, like this game's for sure, right? I'm just hitting it here and the ball just goes. That's not re very realistic in that regards. And uh, I can as well show you something about the ball speed. So if I now just hit like a very normal driver, right? So or if first I'm going to hit it like a little bit um, like soft. So this was a relatively soft one. We have like 171 miles even. I mean, this would be probably something like 80 miles, maybe 90 miles club head speed and TGC. I'm going to try to swing it like 60 miles now. Right, so this would be like a 60 miles club head speed. So you see the ball speed is like almost the same, right? So 168, 171. I really try to now get it maybe to 150. So I'm going to try to make really like almost no swing at all. Like this, okay, 130. So it has definitely some problems there in order to figure out exactly what speed you have, which is a problem for distance control. Um, but if we now start to put the hardware to the limits, right? Because they, the Golf Plus people, they had to make it like this because the headset just doesn't allow it. I'm going to show you what happens if we now make a little bit harder swings at it. So now this would be a normal golf swing here. So you can see it's 173, right? Just one mile uh, ball speed more. Let me try another one here. Like more straight, right? So we have 170, which was even less, even though now I put more like a power of maybe 110 miles into it. But the game can just not pick it up because the controllers don't allow that fast speeds. Once I go too fast on the quest, let's see what happens then. And you can see, yeah, controller broken here, right? It's completely freaking out. And the quest now has to recalculate the algorithm, find okay, where is the controller and so on and so forth. And this was like a normal golf club driver swing speed that I just now made. We can see it's like just 170 miles, they say. So yeah, it's like uh, very unrealistic when it comes to the real like uh, miles and swing speeds and all these things. But still, I think they made a tremendously good job with this game. Um, yeah, it's very good for arcade players that just go into golf and just want to play a little bit you know have some like nice driver swings try to hit some greens there or whatever and just feel like they are kind of on the pj tour playing pebble beach and so on and so forth but yeah definitely interesting to to know these things about golf plus so yeah anyway without further ado let's just here with the sandwich hit a couple of shots and i'm gonna just try to aim it at the waterline here right and we're gonna take a look at if i can hit it quite often and um, yeah, what kind of distance control I get there, how accurate this is going to be. Okay, first good one there. Let's hit another 3-4. To see it, this one was a little bit pulled maybe. Can I really try to feel it? But I'm just a human, you know, sometimes like this it happens. I mean like a yard short, came a little bit under the ball. I had the face a little bit open, right? So promote all these things matter. Try to hit two more here. Try to hit this water line there. Okay, this just rolled in. This was all right. And this one, yeah, pretty good too. I mean, I could probably put them within like one yard or like two feet or something like this, which is just for a 10 yard distance here, like 11 yards, right? So 22 miles club head speed. Um, yeah, it's almost impossible for somebody that is relatively okay at golf to not kind of hit them in this, this radius from, of course, a green surface that we are chipping on here. If it would now be in the rough, it would, of course, uh, start to be tougher. If it would be in a bunker, even it would be way, way tougher in this game as well. Now we're going to pick a line that is maybe uh, 20 yards right maybe there where you can see uh like the the kind of yeah the rock disappearing there down the water so i'm just going to put a little bit more power in and we can see how close i can can get the shots exactly to that line it's okay, so not too bad that one was pretty decent 
This was a bit pulled though, but I'm still pretty happy. Okay, just was a bit short. Let me try to make one good one. To really focus here. Ah, that's gonna be short. Fortunately, yeah, just a bit short. But I mean, for me, it's kind of a ride. Probably they were like now like one and a half yards or so radius. Um, for a golfer like me, I'm, I take it all day. It's all right. Uh, but these are like very kind of yeah, chip shots. You can see like 28. Um, miles club head speed 17 yard shot right so probably there were like 70 to 20 yards somewhere in this neighborhood so that's relatively easy then now we're gonna go into shot that is more like a common golf shot like say a 60 yard shot right so here with my sandwich I have a 62 yard shot which has around 60 miles club head speed so I'm just gonna try to pull this one off and let's see if we make five of these how close they're gonna actually be and how much on the line they're gonna be there Okay, let's hit a good first one here and see if we can get to that 60 yards. I think this was good rotation. Okay, we got it like 59, 56, which is quite, quite good. Within like four yards there. Let's make uh, another four here. Probably a bit short, came a little bit under it. Yeah, we can see 60, 50, and I felt it because I had too much like leaning backwards there. Have to really focus on all these things, right? I think that's probably a bit long even because this was club, a close club face, right? So you can see the distance stayed the same. It was like 60 miles, um, but now just the first one was like the, the club was basically like this, right? So we de lofted it and then it was just higher than the other one. And or, yeah, didn't got the same distance. And now this one was close. We can see that here, right? So a bit close face, a little bit too healy and uh, it goes like five yards more. Let's try to hit one very good center, exactly 60 yards maybe, that would be cool. This one sounds good, but probably 59, 56, yeah. Okay, one more. Mm, this is a little bit lower ball, 56. I mean, we could say now that the balls were roughly like 55 to 60 or something like this, right? So in this neighborhood, um, maybe even like 55 to 65, you could say. Um, that it's in this kind of radius, but for me it would be amazing, you know, like if I'm just five yards off my target that I pick uh, in a 60 yard shot, I take it all day. Um, so let's now move to the full shots, right? So when we have not 60 miles club head speed, like in this case, uh, when we go to like the 80, 85, 90 miles club head speeds. And usually this club here goes for me like 110 yards, 115 yards maybe. So let's uh, just hit a couple of, uh, yeah, very, yeah, full shots and take a look at the distance there. Okay, so the first one now, let's, let's try our best, Get like 110 maybe. With too much body rotation there. See, 115, definitely good. But again, I'm using this club here for like 110 yards, 115 maybe. Let's try to hit a few more. I have to focus here in pro difficulty. Gonna be probably a bit short, I'm not sure. 87, 111, it's alright. Okay, let's hit a few more here. Pretty much on the target, 91, so should go the furthest. 122, right, so a little bit more club head speed there. But so far, good grouping over there. Two more now. Ah, uh, this was chunked, so it will probably not even go 100. You can see that 74, 85, right? So, was nothing. Sometimes, by the way, you have some legs or some, uh, yeah, some frame drops. And this can definitely alter your shot then. So, the technology is not... 
superb yet, unfortunately, especially with all these recordings on. But if you have a super good PC, usually you don't have that many problems. My PC, unfortunately, isn't great. It pulled, but I think from a distance it's great. Let's see. 116. Make one more here. Let's hit a little bit soft at it, so it should go like 100 yards. Let's try that. Oh god. So it's hit like super clean. Super good rotation, so it will definitely go further. 116. Try once more. Hit like a little bit softer. Take a little juice out, make like 80. 80 miles speed and we have like 78 but close face so there goes 108 now so you can see I actually can yeah with pretty good accuracy if there are like no lags or something or like no chunking going on or mishits um, put them yeah like in a in a 10 yard radius maybe 15 yard uh, radius over there and now most of the shots that I made were like 115 112 116 100 something right the last one which um, intentionally I took some power off here uh, was like 108 but it was a bit close club face a bit, little bit as well hit with the heel kind of side so a little bit more uh, juice from this side but anyway I'm super happy with this grouping but now let's think about a little bit um, yeah higher club speeds e club head speeds even uh, we have here like AB 590 ish right so now let's take a six iron here and take a look at the grouping for the six iron hitting around like 100 to 105 miles club head speed And everything is in pro difficulty, right? So it's not super easy. Very powerful. Good rotation there. Probably like 110 miles. 111, yeah. You can see this is like the perfect shot possible. 221. But I will probably do this one in 100. So we're not going to count this one. Let's make a few more here. And very powerful target, 100, 600%. Oh god, it's gonna get, go again over, like almost, yeah, 216. Let's kind of punch it here in the water. Um, but yeah, these two were kind of forward shaft lean, very powerful hits. Usually my six goes like 190. Let's try to hit a little bit softer one that probably goes like 160 then only. Yeah, this was too close face, so it's not gonna carry. See, like this is, there's nothing. But I mean, I wanted to hit it softer, so you can see I can make a difference there. I mean, this is like 93, goes probably 165. Yeah, like 89 goes 160. Let me try to hit two now on the island, because I usually when I want to hit the island have this little bit more punchy six to get it there. I mean, this could get there. See, 9790, punchy. Yeah, 190. So just the ball flight was lower with this one, right? So that already made it. We kind of chip it back here into the water. And let's hit just two more. A little bit softer one and then a little bit harder again. There's a soft one. Pretty decent. Let's see. 8650. Now, a little bit harder one. Ah, this is just enough, maybe. Maybe a 180 shot. Oh, 195 even, yeah. But I mean, I put more power. You can see the 105, right, compared to the other ones. So, the takeaway here on the 6s, that, I mean, if I really rotate my body well, if I re really make a good motion, I can get some club head speed. And I'm of course an amateur golfer, I'm not going to have a, like I'm not a robot, and I'm not going to repeat exactly the sh same shot all the time. But when I think about the distance control with my 6 iron here, that I usually want to hit within like 190 yards, or maybe 160-ish when I hit a little bit soft on it, or 170 maybe, I kind of... Yeah, got it close, like maybe 10, 20 yards close to these numbers for most of the shots. Um, and that's super, like, okay for me, you know? Like, I don't need um, anything. I don't expect it to always go exactly the distance. So now let's think about the driver, where, of course, there you have, like, this 120 miles, 125, 130 even club head speed. So, yeah, let me actually make this putt real quick here. Just, like, 20 feet, no problem. Oh, or I push it. 
but at least from the distance it was right and since the video is about distance control right so i just tried to show that no just kidding so here um driver okay so driver of course high club head speeds longest club um so we're gonna rip it uh and i'm just gonna try to hit very t yeah very powerful drives not uh, like here yeah, just accurate one maybe in the end few let's see Oof. my back even made a crack there 117 we can see it goes only 229 right so again that's pro mode like not a great hit to hit it better in the center not pull the ball then it might go like this it's very powerful, but high spinner, unfortunately. But look at this number, 123, 30%. So this would probably go like the 250, ooh, 260 even. That's a good one, even though it was a little bit keely. See? Let me try and rip at it. This has an even better, better shot. Look, look at this number now. Okay, I was thinking it probably goes a bit better, uh, like a little bit further. Has better numbers and everything, um, and it felt a bit better because it came out a little bit more stingery. But anyway, let's let me try to rip two more. Oh, there! Unfortunately, I felt like a little glitch, so probably it goes like to 20 only. It wasn't great shot. You can see that there. Yeah, I felt this as well. I lost the balance and I was too much outside. Even the the ball before I hit a little bit too much on the heel. And, like, the setup is everything, right? So you have to really have the perfect setup in the start and really focus on it. Let me try to hit one good one. Ah, this is nothing. This is hit very bad. But okay, I mean 185. So, from the numbers that we have seen now, uh, if I hit the normal, maybe they are between like 220 and 250. Ish, I would say and once I have some miss hits they can easily go like 185 which is as well very realistic to what I do in real life with my driver um, let's hit some normal drives though like not to rip at them because ripping or well, like hit them very powerful right so this is gonna take some accuracy off now I'm just gonna let, try to let the technology do the rest here like just swing at it probably like 110 miles speed and see where these balls go I hit it super toey, but you see 100% contact. At least it feels super toey. We get a 230 with 111 miles speed. Yeah, you can see it was a bit on the toe, maybe. I felt like I hit it like this, you know, like... Anyway, wasn't powerful, but even if you don't put in all the power in the world, you might still gonna get it the best, uh, like, or the similar distance. Let's try again. Yeah, very much on the target. Again, like a good, good hit. Oh my god, like only 97. But still, I mean, 210, I think, was the carry. Was, um, was okay. Let's make one more. I'm gonna chop it here back into the water. Driver in hand. With that ball position too far out. Yeah, like this here. Try. Try to do something. So one more gentle one. Maybe 110 miles club at speed. Oh yeah, this has even a bit more, 120. Very good, good swing there, good rotation, everything. It was like 240, yeah. So, I mean, what's the takeaway here? Yeah, it's kind of accurate. And of course, the this is now the, the club that should have the, the biggest spread, you know, like, and here easily it's like a 100 yard spread. Like the best drive could go like 280, while the uh, yeah, shittiest could go like 180. And that's definitely something to keep in mind that once we use these like very, yeah, powerful clubs that have this high club head speeds. We lose, yeah, for at least for me, for amateur golfers, we lose, a, we lose a lot of accuracy. But still, it kind of translates very well here into that game. So I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so now let's conclude what we have just now witnessed. We have seen that TGC VR is actually a pretty realistic golf game. Keep in mind it was made in 2016, right? Or, or it was published in 2016. It was made for the first generation of VR headsets. So of course it's not perfect, right? And it misses so many features that actually make golf, golf. But think about like the next five years, maybe a big publisher makes a game like this year and makes it even better, right? Maybe combines the player pool of the arcade golfers, like the casual golfers that Golf Plus has, um, and as well, 
puts like some yeah like promotes for like really yeah like golf enthusiasts that really want to play like the most immersive the most realistic golf right and the next maybe one or two generations of VR hardware that comes on the market, not just only headsets with better resolution. No, I'm talking about tracking and like better tracking, more accurate tracking, right? Um, it's almost scary to think of it like in five years or even think of it, think of it in 10 years from now. At some point, we're going to be so realistic, like this VR golf and simulator golf and everything going to be so realistic and immersive that there's no way around it, right? I'm gonna leave you with your thoughts and I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it, subscribe it, leave me a comment and share it with your friends. Um, and yeah, welcome to the future of golf, guys.